Welcome to sixth grade history. This is a review lesson of chapters 15 and 16. And then, so that's next lesson. This is lesson 153 and lesson 154 is the test over these two chapters. So we're gonna, um, gonna go through a lot of review. You also need to know the map, uh, Map Mastery 16 in the back of the book and the map that corresponds with that. So um, for homework tonight, you make sure to study um, both chapters 15 and 16 and the Map Mastery 16 for that test tomorrow, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna ask a capital or a country, I'll, I'll pick of those that we've been learning and you give me the other one, okay? So Mexico City. Mexico, that one was easy, right? Okay, so Tegucigalpa is the capital of what country? Honduras, okay, very good. Belmopan is the capital of what country? Belize, Belmopan is Belize, okay? Um, I use a lot of mnemonic devices in my head to memorize things and to learn them, so, in my mind, I would say, oh, B-E and B-E, they go together, okay? Belmopan and Belize. All right, what is the capital of Guatemala? Guatemala City, very good. All right, what is the capital of Costa Rica? San Jose, what's the capital of Panama? Panama City. Which country's capital is Managua? Managua, Nicaragua, okay? All right. Which country's capital is Nassau? Nassau. That's the Bahamas. What is the capital of Haiti? What's the capital of Haiti? Port au Prince. Port au Prince. Which country's capital is Santo Domingo? Santo Domingo is the Dominican Republic. Okay, very good. What is the capital of Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. San Juan, San Juan. Uh, what country's capital is Kingston? Jamaica, Jamaica is Kingston. Okay, and then what country's capital is Havana? Cuba, Cuba, all right, very good on those. And now I'm gonna go with a, some who am I? So this thing back to, to chapter 15. Indians that established the first powerful empire with a magnificent capital called Tenochtitlan in Mexico. Aztecs, Aztecs were in Mexico, okay, where they were the first powerful empire. Spanish employer who, <laughs> Spanish explorer who conquered the Aztecs, Fernando Cortez, Fernando Cortez, Aztec emperor who was conquered by Cortez. So the Aztec emperor was Montezuma, Montezuma. Indians who built the first great civilization in the Western hemisphere, the Mayas, Mayas conquered malaria in Panama, making it possible to build the Panama Canal. Actually got rid of the mosquitoes. William Gorgas, William Gorgas. Okay, um, so these are, these next ones is answering, just answering the question. So Mexico leads the world in the mining and production of what? What? Uh, Element? Maybe not element. Okay, sorry, silver. Silver, hopefully you got that. Uh, I wasn't sure what to call it. It was it. Um, I should have just said natural resource. Okay, what other minerals are abundant in Mexico? There's a few of these. There's gold, sulfur, lead, zinc, and copper, okay? What fuel is one of Mexico's greatest natural resources? Petroleum, good. What is the candelia plant used for? Um, oh, 
found it. Sorry, the answer was in a different spot. Um, so wax, a wax that's used in shoe polish, car and floor wax, candy and crayons. And then the sopadilla tree, what do we use that for? The sap is the source of chicle, a major ingredient in chewing gum, okay? Uh, what is Mexico's largest city? Mexico City, very good. Uh, what, which city is the center for Mexico's steel industry? Steel industry. Monterey. I would think it would be cheese, but it's not. It's the steel industry, okay? So Monterey um, is the Mexico's center for steel industry. What is Guadalajara known for? Guadalajara. It's a favorite tourist spot. So it's in the southern part of, of the uh, Mexico, down, down near um, the bottom edge of that. What is a plaza? A plaza. A central area that is a public meeting place. Okay, a plaza. All right. I am going to give you a definition and then you can give me the word. Okay, a nap usually taken during the hottest part of the day. Siesta. A tall hat with a wide brim traditionally worn by Mexican men. Sombrero. A large square or diamond shaped wool cloth with a hole cut for the head. Poncho. Poncho. What's a celebration of a special event? That's a fiesta, right? Hollow clay or papery, paper mache container in the shape of an animal. You might like these at a birthday. A pinata, very good. Okay, um, identify these places. The two large peninsulas located in Mexico, Baja California and Yucatan Peninsula, okay? River that forms part of the border between US and Mexico. Rio Grande, narrow strip of land separating the Gulf of Mexico from the Pacific Ocean. The Isthmus of Tehuantepec, Isthmus of Tehuantepec, okay, so that's on the southern part of um, Mexico right before the Yucatan Peninsula, um, so it's at that bottom part. Mexico's western mountain range is what? The Sierra Madre Occidental Western is on the Pacific side. So that's your Sierra Madre Occidental. What about the Eastern mountain range? Sierra Madre Oriental, okay? There you go. Land that lies between Mexico's mountain range is known as what? The Mexican Plateau is between those two mountain ranges. Mexico's highest point is what? This one was a hard one to say. Sitlati petal. Sitlati petal. Okay. Um, this is another hard. There's some really hard words to pronounce. Um, the extinct volcano known as White Woman. Is Tachihato. Is is Tachihato. Okay, starts with I-Z, okay. Um, the volcanic mountain known as Smoking Mountain. Popocatipetl, Popocatipetl. All right, I know how to pronounce this next one. Volcano that erupted from a cornfield and buried two villages was Paracutin, Paracutin. The largest lake in Central America is what? Lake Nicaragua, Lake Nicaragua. The famous Mayan ruins in the Yucatan, on the Yucatan Peninsula are called what? Chichen Itza, Chichen Itza, looks like chicken. Man-made waterway connected the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, Panama Canal, okay, there we go. Um, so then these, Countries, identify the country by their description, okay? So I'm gonna give you a description. 
only Central American country in which English is the main language. Know it yet? Only Central American country without a Pacific coast. It's Belize, Belize. So both things apply to Belize, okay? Richer than most of the rest of Central America because it has been more peaceful and free than its neighbors. Richer than most of the rest of Central America because it has been more peaceful and free than its neighbors. Costa Rica, okay? Smallest Western Hemisphere country that is not an island. Most densely populated Central American country on the mainland. This is the only Amer Central American country without a Caribbean shore and most industrialized nation in Central America. It's El Salvador. So all of those things apply to El Salvador, okay? Um, this one only has one thing. The largest population of any Central American country, Guatemala, one of the poorest Central Amer American countries, location of Copan, a partially reconstructed ancient Mayan city. That's Honduras, so it's the one of the poorest. Central American's largest country, Nicaragua. What about the crossroads of the world? And the location of the Panama Canal. Is Panama okay? So that one did give it away a little bit. Hopefully you got it before that. Um, all right, so then identify these animals. The largest cat of the Western Hemisphere is the jaguar, one of the smallest wildcats in the New World. Jaguarundi. Jaguarundi. I think it's Rundi. Okay. Uh, most intelligent monkey in the Western Hemisphere. If you've seen National Treasure, it's the capuchin monkey. A uh, tree dwelling monkey in the Western Hemisphere. There's many of these actually. So any one of these you could have said squirrel monkey, capuchin monkey, spider monkey, howler monkey, and the durukulu, kuli, durukuli. Yeah, that one. Um, large poisonous snake is the bushmaster. And then the bird with an enormous colorful bill is a toucan, all right. Let's look at some more of our chapter 16. Um, so who am I from chapter 16? Italian navigator who sell, sailed from Spain and discovered America, Christopher Columbus, okay? Spanish rulers who financed the voyage of Columbus. King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain. First European to view the Pacific Ocean, Vasco Balboa, explorer who renamed the South Sea the Pacific Ocean because it seemed calm. Magellan, okay. Who freed black slave, who was a freed black slave from the US who went to Jamaica to preach the gospel? George Lyell, all right. The English scientist and Christian who left money in his will to spread the gospel to foreign lands. That was Robert Boyle. Who was the leader of the Moravians who encouraged missionaries to go to the West Indies? Count Zinzendorf, or you could say Count von Zinzendorf. A friend of John Wesley and founder of Methodist Missions. Thomas Koch. Thomas Koch. Who was the leader who brought communism to Cuba, making it the first communist dictatorship in the Western Hemisphere? Fidel Castro, Fidel Castro, and former major in Castro's army who was in prison for his stand against communism in Cuba, Huber Matos, Huber Matos. All right, now these questions, these next questions are about um, events or people, okay? Uh, what happened on October 12, 1492? Columbus discovered America, and where did this event take place? The island of San Salvador is where he landed. Who met Columbus on the island of San Salvador? 
the people group, the Arawak. And what other tribe did he meet? The Carib, right? He named them the Carib because they were fierce. Where does the name Caribbean Sea come from? It was named for the Carib tribe, whose name means, doesn't mean fierce. Um, they were fierce, but it actually means cannibals. So hopefully you remember that. What was the first European city in the Americas and where was it located? It's Isabella and it was located on Hispaniola, which is the, um, the island with two islands on it or two countries on it. Um, what is the main, oh, sorry, I skipped from our questions. What did Columbus discover on his third voyage? On his third voyage, he discovered the mouth of the Orinoco River in South America. And what about his fourth voyage? The Isthmus of Panama, okay? Where is Mount Pele located? What island? Martinique, and when did it erupt? In 1902. Which group of the West Indies islands are made of coral? The Bahamas, and what are coral reefs? They're the cor colorful formations created by millions of tiny animals called polyps, which secrete limestone, usually found in shallow tropical water waters. What is the main product of the West Indies? Sugar. Um, what is the highest peak in the West Indies? Pico Duarte, and where is it located? On the Dominican Republic. What US national park is located in the West Indies? The Virgin Islands National Park, very good. Uh, which island is a leading producer of nutmeg and other spices? Grenada, and what nickname has been given to this island? The Isle of Spice. What do atheists believe? That there is no God, and what system of government is atheistic? Communism, all right. What is rationing of food? Giving a fixed daily amount allowance of food. What, why did this happen in Cuba, a country with rich farmland? Well, they suffered crop failures and food shortages because communism takes away the people's incentive to work uh, because personal profit is not allowed. So it was because of the communism that that, that happened. <clears throat> All right. You're going to need, um, so on 309, um, in your chapter checkup, when you, when you look at that, you're gonna need to identify the island groups, okay? So what the West Indies are, um, where the Bahamas are, the Greater Antilles, the Lesser Antilles, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, US Virgin Islands, Leeward Islands, Windward Islands, Netherlands, Antilles, and Trinidad and Tobago. So uh, be sure to, to to look at your map for that um, and study those, okay? So we're gonna go with the what am I? Largest shell found in American waters, the horse conch, and the sea mammal, also known as the small whale, dolphin, dolphin. Fish with a spear-like snout up to two feet long, that's the marlin. And what's the smallest bird? The bee hummingbird, and where is that one located? On Cuba, right? Um, okay, so identify these locations. This island is the only part of the United States Columbus ever visited. Its residents are US citizens. Puerto Rico, okay. The island whose name means Island of Springs is a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. Jamaica, Jamaica. This country is the second oldest independent nation in the Western Hemisphere. Haiti, this is the most mountainous country of the West Indies. Dominican Republic, 
This island of the Bahamas is probably where Columbus first landed in the New World. San Salvador. These islands are the only U.S. possession where people drive on the left side of the road. The U.S. Virgin Islands. This island is farthest east of all the West Indies islands. Barbados. This is the second largest West Indies island divided into two countries. Hispaniola. Okay, so for that... Um, Let's see. I'm going to describe the island groups um, and you tell me which one it is, okay? So, Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica, and Puerto Rico. What are those? They make up the Greater Antilles, okay? Very good. Um, Northeastern Virgin Islands. Which ones are those? They're the British Virgin Islands, okay? An archipelago about 2,500 miles long in the Caribbean Sea consisting of the Greater Antilles, the Lesser Antilles, and the Bahamas, the West Indies, very good. Um, the Virgin Islands, the Leeward Islands, the Windward Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, and the Netherlands Antilles are what? They're all the Lesser Antilles, okay? A group of islands in the Atlantic Ocean, 580 miles southeast of North Carolina, not part of the West Indies, although they are often included with them. That's Bermuda, Bermuda. The Dutch West Indies, including Aruba, Caracal, and Bonaire. Those are the Netherlands Antilles, okay? Um, St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas, and about 50 tiny islands are what? The U.S. Virgin Islands. A group of many islands lying northwest of the Greater Antilles, including San Salvador, New Providence, and Nassau. The Bahamas. Okay. Um, located off the coast of Venezuela? Trinidad and Tobago. Part of the Lesser Antilles, including Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Barbados, and Grenada. Those are the Windward Islands. They're the ones that are a little bit lower. And then part of the Lesser Antilles, including the Virgin Islands, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, Guadalupe, and Dominica. Those are the Leeward Islands, okay? All right, so know those groups of islands and know those um, descriptions of them. And um make sure you study chapters 15 and 16 and that you um study your map mastery 16 the locations of these um one of those places that you can look at is your um map book you can look at the map 41 ss 41 to help you see the islands a little closer and um then in the back of the book you can see the the whole of middle America, okay? Make sure you know cities in Mexico and Central America and on the islands. Uh, Mexico is gonna have probably the most of the cities in all of those, so look at all the cities in Mexico. Make sure that you, you study those um, and that you are well prepared for this test, okay? So it is tomorrow, um, should be Friday for you, and then you get a break for the weekend. Um, so I will see you in the next lesson. Do well on your tests.